hey guys what's up welcome to maths 101 wait i mean welcome to servant beats thank you so much for clicking on the video please don't forget to like comment subscribe click the notification bell and guys i wasn't joking about the maths okay today we are going to be doing this beautiful triangular beaded bag and you need maths to know it we are going back to our primary school grade school maths and you needed to do this back okay maths is still following you yeah so please make sure you watch the entire video to the end and ask any que and ask questions if you do not understand anything that i have said in the video so let's get into obviously your first maths class in a very very long while so without further ado let's get right into the tutorial well, for materials i'm using this yellow eight millimeter beads i'm using a 0.80 fishing line and a pair of scissors so you're going to start by picking up six beads insert all those six beads in your fishing line which is long enough for you to work comfortably with then you are going to cross with the sixth bead like so guys if you hear any noise in the background i really apologize i live beside the road so you're going to pick up five beads and two beads on one end of the fishing line another two beads on the other end then you are going to cross with the second bead you're going to repeat this process again as you can see we are going to have circles of six most of the time when i'm doing my beaded bags i have circles of four but today we're having circles of six so two beaded be two beads on one end of the fishing line the other two beads on the other end then cross with one and you are going to do this until you have a total of 20 beads guys this is where our first math lesson comes in you are making a bag which is a multiple of seven so we need to have 21 we have 20 right now and to make the 21 you're going to take one end of the fishing line and we are going to insert five beads into that fishing line and cross with the fifth bead this is what you're going to have your work is going to be turned downwards like this and all you're going to do is to take the other fishing line we're going to be inserting our fishing line into two beads now it is in one bead so you're going to go backwards into the bead you know behind where the other bead is so our fishing line is in two beads right now then since we need to make six circle of six we just need four beads right now to complete that circle of six and you're going to pick up four beads and you're going to cross with the fourth bead and this is what we are going to have now i'm going to flip my work because you guys know i'm always working um the fishing line that i am using to work mostly i put it on my right side because it's my dominant hand so i'm going to insert my fishing line into the next two beads then now my fishing line is on three beads and i'm going to pick up three beads now to complete that ring of six so insert your fishing line into the next two beads like so and our fishing line is in three beads so we need three beads to have that ring of six so pick up three beads and cross with the third bead now you're going to basically repeat this pattern until we get right to the end guys don't forget to pull your work because you want your bag to be nice and firm that is something that i always encourage on this channel to have stiff backs so that the bags can have good shapes so just continue doing this until you get to the end okay guys so i am almost at the end so um i'm just going to zoom in and i've just inserted my fishing line into that one bead right there so i'm going to pick up three beads and i'm going to cross with the third bead now this is where we are going to end like so so we are instead going to remove our cross bead and we are going to cross it into that bead that i have just shown right there so row number one is made up of 21 beads our row number two is going to be made up of 19 beads so row number three is going to be made up of 21 beads again so since my fishing line was on one bead i just picked up five more beads and i crossed with the fifth bead turned my work then i am working back so this is on well row number three right now so row number three is going to be 21 beads row number four is going to be 20 beads 
Note even rows like 246 are going to have 20 beads, old rows like 135 are going to have 21 beads. So this is what your work should look like, like so. So you're going to have a total of 13 rows. So you're ending on an odd row. So if you can tell the longer um, rows at the sides, those ones that have those points are the odd rows then the ones that are a little bit inside are the even rows so you're going to start with an odd row with that tip and end with an um another odd row so we are going to do the sides and i'm going to do one first as you can see here i already did one side and i'm going to explain to you guys now how to do the other side so count your beads from the side till you reach seven so this is like i said multiple of seven so you're going to count seven on one side, three, four, five, six, seven. And in that seven bead right there or that seven hole, you're going to insert your fishing line into the two beads that belong to that seven hole right there. Then you're going to insert it, your fishing line into the two beads of the eighth row right there. So basically that seventh row is the end of the of one side since the triangle is having three sides so it's the end of one side then the eighth row is the beginning of the base so i just did the same thing i counted seven and i put my stitch marker that i use in my crochet projects between the seven and the eighth row so that it's going to mark that corner so that when i get there i am not going to miss it so right now my fishing line is in four beads and obviously we need two beads to complete it so that we have a ring of six so pick up two beads and cross with the second bead so i just crossed with the second bead right there and immediately that makes a corner guys this is an equilateral triangle okay i said we are doing maths here this is an equilateral triangle and we have basically just made one angle of our equilateral triangle right now like i said we have seven on the side seven on the base seven on the side again so now my fishing line is in three beads obviously i'm going to need to pick up three beads to complete it so you can see my angle is nice and crisp and of course we're going to continue the pattern that we already know insert your fishing line into the next two beads your fishing line is going to be connected to three beads then you're going to pick up three beads and cross with the third bead and you're going to do this until we get to that corner that we marked right there so this first row row number one is going to be made up of seven beads so we're going to have seven beads um on the row then since we are making a triangle this seven beads is going to be the base of our triangle then when we start moving up it's going to start decreasing to seven from seven to six to five to four to three to two to one so that it comes it comes out with that triangle shape guys i'm not going to lie to you this bag is so simple i said even if you didn't um, do well in maths in grade school or secondary school whatever you are going to pass this maths test on this beaded bag so i'm just inserting my fishing line again into the two beads and i am crossing with um one bead picking up three beads and crossing with one bead so here we are we have six right here we need to do the seven so we're going to repeat the same thing that we did at the um beginning so i'm inserting my fishing line into the two last beads of the base then into those two last beads of the side so my fishing line right now is connected to two for five beads so i need just one bead to complete that row and that is going to make that angle even more sharp and crisp you guys can see we have another angle of our triangle correct and looking good guys tell me down in the comment section how many you know the angles of an equilateral triangle let me know down in the comment section so this is what we have so far i just inserted my fishing line it, the one on the left into one bead right there from the previous row like so then i inserted my fishing line into two beads from the side of the back so as you can see our back is beginning to move inwards right now then i'm going to go into the next two beads my fishing line is connected to three beads i'm going to pick up three beads and i'm going to cross with the third bead 
so i am going to continue this pattern and when i get to the side i'm going to repeat the same thing i'm going to insert my fishing line into the next two beads at the side and that is how we are just going to keep on building the back until we get to the tippity top as you can see this is what it looks like our base there is seven the next part is six five four three two and we are at the last part which is one but for this last part where is one we are going to have seven beads instead of six so i'm just inserting one bead into my fishing line right there then i'm going to bring all the fishing lines together so that they meet in one spot and i'm just going to tie it off so that last bead right there is going to be seven beads instead of six so when you're done you're just going to tuck in your fishing line i have a tutorial on how to do that to tuck in your fishing line so well so this is what your back is looking like looking nice and cute already just turned it to the other side and made sure that i tied, tied my work and tuck everything inside now that we are done with our entire bag, it's time for us to make the lid. So you see those two pointed edges there immediately after the side, like not immediately, but like the second one right there. You can go ahead and count it. We're going to insert our fishing line right at that spot to build our lid. Now you are simply going to pick up obviously five beads, two on each side of your fishing line then you are going i really apologize for this background noises guys and you're going to pick up another two on the other end of your fishing line then you are going to cross with one bead so we have a ring of six we are going to do another ring of six so two beads on each side of your fishing line then cross with one bead guys if you're new to the channel welcome we do beaded projects on this channel if you have any requests please dm me on instagram then if you want if you've done anything that we have created on that channel please send me the picture on instagram i always post i try as much as possible to remember to post my subscribers creations please don't forget to like comment subscribe click the notification bell share this video guys all of that is free so that we may continue promoting our channel so now we have three rings of six beads right there and if you could see i had crossed it but now we need to do a beaded increase so remember what i said when we're doing the flat part where we had odd numbers and even number of beads now we have an odd number of beads and we want to make another um increase basically so i just crossed my bead to the side like so then my i'm going to pick up five beads then cross with the fifth bead and that has basically turned my work increased the second row as you can see it's sloping downwards now then it has helped us to to start the second row basically i don't know if that made sense but i'm sure you guys can see what i am doing then i just inserted my fishing line into the next two beads then i crawl i'm going to pick up another um three beads then i'm going to cross with the third bead so that we have a ring of six i'm going to insert my fishing line into the next or the following two beads again you know like the regular pattern insert your fishing line in two beads pick up three beads then cross with the third bead and we are going to do that until we get to um the part where we need to connect where we have done and um, what part we have done with our lid to the back part of our bag okay so this is what she's looking like so far and this is what we are going to do next i'm going to insert my fishing line into the following two beads like so yeah i just inserted it into the next two beads then i'm going to connect it into the next two beads from the back of the bag the back of the bag wow <laughs> so and now you can see our fishing line is attached to two four five beads so you're just going to pick up one bead and cross like so cross it like this yeah and you're going to insert your fishing line again into that tippity top right there and we're just going to continue the pattern obviously so our fishing line is connected to two beads you're going to pick up four beads and you're going to cross with the fourth bead 
Okay, so I'm going to continue um, picking up three beads, then crossing with the third bead. So I have my fishing line in in two beads right there. My fishing line is connected to three beads right now. So pick up three beads, then crossing with the third bead. And we are going to continue till we have till we get to the end, and we are going to have that same increase that we've always had so i'm just going to let you guys watch it instead of me explaining i'm going to let you guys watch and i'm going to meet you guys back when it's time to explain the decrease for the lid of our bag So this is what I mean. I've already gone up then. You know, I've started doing the decrease already. Yeah, so this is where we are. That is our midpoint of our bag right there. So we're already at the midpoint. Now we're going to be working on the decreases of our bag. The next row is not going to be an increase. So we have one, two, three, four, five increases then we are going to have four decreases so we're going to have four rows of decreases so you're basically working backwards right now so you're just going to keep working the pattern but we are not going to be getting to the end of our work again okay if you've done everything like you should this is how a lid is supposed to be looking like our next thing we're going to do is the handle of our back now you put guys you guys remember that one bead that we put at the tip of the top right at the side this is where it's going to come in handy so the um you know the handle of our bag is going to be a uh three by three tube normally i used to do a four but i decided to do a three you know triangle we're doing threes so I've just inserted my fishing line into that tippity top bead from the side, picked up um, three beads, crossed with the third bead, inserted my fishing line into the next bead right there, into that seventh bead that we added right there, picked up um, two beads, then I have crossed with the second bead, inserted my fishing line into the next um, bead from the side, then I'm going to insert it into the very first bead that we picked up right there. And I'm just going to pick up one bead and cross and you're going to see those three beads right there. Do you see those three main beads right there? Yep, that's what's going to give us our handle. So unlike the four tube um, handle where there's going to be a space in the middle here, there's not going to be any space. But it's basically the same pattern as the four tube handle because you're going to start by picking up three beads, inserting your fishing line into the following bead. Guys, pick up three beads. Cross with the third bead, insert your fishing line into the following bead. But the other fishing line, you're going to pick up two beads, cross with the second bead. I'm sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Insert your fishing line into the third bead, insert your fishing line back into the first bead of that row. Then you're going to pick up one bead and cross 
to end that row yeah so this is what we have so far i'm going to repeat the process again so you guys can see like um as your work is like this your fishing line is out is um on both sides of one bead pick up three beads cross with the third bead insert your fishing line into the following bead right there then pick up um two beads pick up two beads cross with the second bead like so Insert your fishing line into the following bead, insert your fishing line into the first bead of the row, then cross with one bead. And you're going to continue doing this to as long as you want your handle to be. I did 25 rows for my handle. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter, it depends on you. Then now I'm just going to show you guys how to join the handle to your back. And then we are going to be done with our bead back. So simple, so easy yeah so you're just going to pick up one bead with your fishing line make sure you're matching your um, handle to the right places on your back so i've picked up one bead inserted it into the that bead at the tippity top of the side pick up one bead and close it up insert my next um, my fishing line into that seven bead from the side insert my other fishing line into the third one of those three beads on the handle pick up one bead and i am going to cross and honestly that's basically it all i'm going to do now is to insert my fi my fishing line around until both fishing lines meet on one place then i am going to tie it like so yeah i'm just going to tie it and that is basically it you tuck in your fishing line your back is looking nice and cute and this is me styling it okay so i did a total of nine beaded bags i think i'm going to call that playlist the one dress nine beaded bag um playlist because i styled all those nine beaded bags with this one dress they look beautiful lovely so make sure you check out the other eight tutorials of the rest of the beaded bags they should be all up on my channel by now so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye